All right, let's get to the highlight right now. Let's show you how the Jazz closed out to Denver Nuggets in game six. And that is Carmelo Anthony. He would need a big one. And this guy right here coming into this game, five straight 20-plus point, 10-plus assist games. Best such streak in NBA history. And this is C.J. Miles pounding the nail. Utah by three. Adrian Dantley sweating. Wesley Matthews. He was huge. The layup right here. Utah up eight. And then it's D. Will to Paul Millsap. Utah up ten. Yeah, I mean, these guys, right here, these guys right here are so good at home. As you see Millsap with a nice dunk from great feed from D. Will. Just that excitement. I mean, they're feeling good. They're confident. But Joy Graham giving us I guess a lift. It wasn't Mello, it wasn't Billups, it wasn't J.R. Smith, it was Joey Graham that got Denver back in this game. He was balling. And right here you see Darren Williams, three-point play, get him to the line. And a 12-point lead for Utah, Joey Graham now. Denver with an eight, hold the phone. Joey Graham's going to hit another one, this time a three on the kickout by Ty Lawson. 19 points in the first half for Joey Graham to the rescue. Denver down only three. But we got one more Utah highlight here in the first Ooh. half. It is Wes Matthews slamming it down. Utah had a two-point lead at halftime. In the third, Dennis Chauncey Billups doing what he does best. Knocking down big shots, trying to keep his team alive. Money ball. That was a nice quick release right there, too. Didn't let Darren Williams set up. And then it's Darren Williams fouling Chauncey Billups. Foul number four on Darren Williams. He would have to sit the final 6-0-2 of the third quarter. And that allowed Chauncey Billups to do a little bit more of this kind of stuff right here. Uh, money ball. Yeah, but with the amount of time that was on there, this one you, you would have expected Denver Nuggets to really, really pull away, and they never did. Carlos Boozer, the reverse, ties the game at 85, and then Chauncey passes to Carmelo Anthony, and the mellow man is going to pull up for the J. He was just 6 of 22 in the game for only 20 points, but he ties the game at 95, and it's D. Will to Millsap, and he finishes again. Once again, him and he and Boozer was dominated in the paint, making plays, rebounding, really controlling the game. And you see the technical right there on Kenyon Martin pushing Darren Williams, and there were four techs again in this game on the Denver Nuggets. One of them right there, that was big. Kenyon Martin, and then Carlos Boozer to Ronnie Price. That was a big hoop, Dennis. Sharing the basketball helped the helper. And then Darren Williams, right here in the closing seconds, bangs into Chris Anderson. You see it right here, setting a screen, and he was holding that left wing as he went into the locker room. You see him right there, and uh, late in the regular season, Darren Williams said, I need an entire new left side. So that may be an aggravated injury right there for Darren Williams. Nevertheless, the Utah Jazz win game six. They close out the Nuggets. The final from Energy Solutions Arena, 112-104.